Good morning, Glen Burnie High School. This is Mr. McGuire here to talk with you about our intervention period, Go for 35. The theme of Go for 35 is classrooms and clubs. You should be getting extra help, seeing a teacher, attending a club meeting. For those of you that are returning to us at Glen Burnie this year, this is not new to you. This is a completely review. But remember, on Friday, you will have to pass a quiz in order for us to be ready to do Go for 35 starting next Tuesday. If you are new to us or you're a freshman, pay close attention because you will be required to pass a quiz on Friday on the information covered in today's lesson and tomorrow's lesson. So here we go. Go for 35 is a structured academic intervention and club period that is between first and second period, Tuesday through Friday, for 35 minutes. All of your teachers and staff are available to support students, advise clubs, or run uh, eventually incentive areas. Go for 35 provides you time for academic extra help to receive support from both your teachers and even your peers. It eliminates our need for after school buses and it further supports uh, your participation in clubs and activities. And last year we did a great job of growing some of our many clubs, so I look forward to seeing the expansion in clubs this year. And remember, as always, Go for 35 is a privilege and it can be revoked at any time, so handle with care. Here's the bell schedule for Go for 35. You'll see that during Go for 35, First period ends at 8.49. When a bell rings at 8.49, that is the simultaneous start time for Go for 35, which is labeled there as the intervention block. You have seven or eight minutes to get to your Go for 35 location. Don't travel in large groups. Try to have a plan in place so that you can make it to a teacher in time. You'll also see that second period ends at 10.48. So if you're a cat north or you're a senior with early release for a college class or work or internship, you still have plenty of time and our cat north students will be dismissed at 1038 to lunch so that they have plenty of time to eat lunch before picking up the cat north bus at 11. Remember, the goal of Go for 35 is for you to get all of your credits, to get good grades, whatever you need to get extra help from your teachers. Every student every week will fill out a Go for 35 schedule on Mondays during first period. So you have to plan strategically your week for Go for 35. Remember, like I said, just like every other period, you must be on time to your Go for 35 location. Remember, you have eight minutes, so it is a little extra time in transition just in case you go to one location and that classroom is full you can have a backup plan to get to a second class. Late students will go to the tardy table, which for Gopher 35 is located in the cafeteria, where you will be expected to remain for the remainder of Gopher 35. That's why we always say to make sure you have a plan and a backup location every day. When the bell has rung during Gopher 35, you are not permitted to leave the room for any reason. We do not have bathroom passes during Gopher 35, changing classrooms, going to visit a teacher or a counselor, or anything for any reason. You should be there at the start of Gopher 35 and remain throughout the entire 35-minute block. No exceptions. Again, your schedule, you'll have 35 minutes four times most weeks to work on uh, improving your grades or getting ahead. You'll make a schedule every day, every Monday, excuse me, in first period. You will get a grade sheet and you'll be expected then to review your grade sheet and make a schedule uh, based on your grades in the club matrix as to where you're going to go for go for 35. Uh, again, this replaces our need for after school help days, but we do have office hours on Mondays for teachers. So you can, if you need even more extra help, um, ask to set up an appointment with them during office hours. Remember, I said when we started the theme for Go for 35 will be classrooms and clubs. Uh, make sure in your schedule you plan to attend a club meeting or find out a way to have a voice in our school. These are just some of the benefits for joining a club. Uh, eventually, when we have incentive areas here, there will be some wellness opportunities for students, but we have to get it right first before we can expand on Go for 35. So like I said earlier, handle with care so that we can have expanded opportunities and incentive spaces during Go for 35. As I said, and I'll keep saying, all students must follow the student code of conduct uh, and teacher and staff directions before, during, and Go for 35. Failure of any students to be respectful 
uh, could result in the return to a normal four lunch bell schedule with no intervention period. So treat it with respect. Here is a sample uh, of what a bell or what a uh, club schedule or schedule for go for 35 will look like. You'll see you have uh, choice one, backup choice in case you get to that room and it's full, and club choices. You will see the club matrix tomorrow. And many of our clubs will be starting to meet next week. And again, you'll fill this out every Monday to prepare for your week. All right, now that this uh, lesson has ended, teachers, I'd like to take I'd like you to take a few minutes to have a class discussion on why Gopher 35 is important for our school and our school community, specifically for the groups listed here below. I hope that you have gotten a lot of information. Also, make sure you take time to ask your teachers questions about anything that you may be wondering about Gopher 35 and make it a great day.